a lawsuit of historic proportions. Yep, it's a big one from the GOA. Let's talk about that. Hey guys, it's always a big good you do and a shazam to each of y'all. It's a good one. The GOA has tipped their hand on an upcoming lawsuit. It's, it's, it's a good one. I've got a two pack for you. I got one a quick one, one a quick one for you as well. By the end of this video, you will be up to date. You'll know what's going on and I think it's worth checking out. Some good stuff, some good stuff and I have resources for you, of course, down below. Buckle up, here we go. Huge, huge news. You've already spotted this one. Today's episode is brought to you by the brand new launching today TriStar Trading Company, and it is awesome. All sorts of new stuff, belts to hold your Rudy Tooties and gear out the wazoo and all sorts of new tees. And you see it and y'all requested it. It's the Drama Llama Tee, Dolly La Llama dropping today. There's a whole lot going on, you won't believe it. And finally, after a year, hats are back in stock. It's wild down there. I mean, legit wild. Have yourself a good time. I think you're gonna have fun. So big thank you to those folks. Big day today, big, big day. And to each of y'all, thank you for every big thumbs up. Y'all absolutely rock. Thank you for that. Thanks for checking your subscription. As always, it's always a big, big help. All right, got a two pack for you. Let me get the first one out of the way pretty quickly. It's pretty simple. The California Department of Justice is now calling. Is it even their job to create legislation? What do I know? I would think Department of Justice would be the judiciary branch, but what do I know? They are calling for background checks for anybody who orders parts or anybody who purchases parts. And it's the same level of a background check as folks in California. They have to have a background check for, for purchasing ammo. So it's the same level of background check. And but, but the question is, and the verbiage they're using, it's precursor parts. We don't know what that means. Nobody knows what that means. I don't know, but that's what they're trying to do. Y'all know what I'm gonna do with my arms. It's another roundabout trying to, to take away your freedom by around the bush. I don't know, we'll see. Precursor, if you know what that means, let me know. All right, let's get to the good one. If you don't know this, the two big ones that we're up against is the 1934 NFA and the 1968, yeah, 68, the GCA, the Gun Control Act. Both of those are the two big, big, big ones, especially the 1934 NFA. Who supported both of those? Yep, the NRA. They supported both of them because they're what morons since the beginning. Deal with that whatever you want. So the NFA is, is that's the bad one. That is, that's the big one. Everything flows out of that. The GOA has tipped their hand that they are going to be doing a historic lawsuit against it for repealing the NFA. That's huge. Now, there's other things we need to worry about, like 1968, that, that act, but baby steps. And this is a big old giant baby step. So that's the GOA. They are crushing. Now, all of this, they can't file yet, and here's why. The man who sniffs small children he is going to be, or his administration, I doubt he even knows what day of the week it is. It's Tuesday, Sniffy. I don't think he knows about this, but it is his administration that is probably, it looks like, going to be enacting, enacting new legislation with braces in August of this year. So August of 22, it looks like a redefinition, reclassification. We've known this is coming for about a year and a half, two years. And it looks, it looks like it is coming in August of 22. Now, the GOA, they can't file these lawsuits until they have the correct verbiage. So they're attacking exactly what that proposed, what that legislation is going to be or the redefinitions are going to be. So they have to wait, but they've already announced today that they're going to be, this is awesome. I mean, this is good. This is some good stuff. Some really, really good stuff. Grassroots actually making an impact. All right, there's a lot going on right now in that's all part of this. We have three repeal bills that are in, I don't have the numbers in front of me, but the, I've got three for you. First is an SBR repeal, and that's sponsored by Roger Marshall, the senator from Kansas. Secondly, we have the short barrel shotgun repeal that's sponsored by Jeff Duncan, representative from South Carolina. And then thirdly, we have a repeal of the AOW, any other. And that's sponsored by none other than, of course, Chip Roy, the rep from Texas. 
This is big, y'all, and one of the things I really like is I, I shared my beef with the GOA a few months ago. We talked about it, and I was uh, upset about the way they were communicating with members, but that has nothing to do with what they're doing on the national and the state level. This is a big one. It's a good one, and it's good days ahead. This is not promotion, I promise you, but our Patreon, all of us together, we donate regularly. We did, we did in, in February to the GOA. I'm proud of that. I'm very proud of that, that we did that big hug together. So, whoo, 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 very, very good. So let me know what you think. Let me know right down below. To anyone that's against us or owning whatever we want, whether it be from 34 or 68, that nonsense. Yep, from my cold dead hands. Bye.